Well, one of three Premier League games on Sunday takes place at the King Power Stadium between two European hopefuls. It's Leicester against Wolves. James will be fighting the corner of Leicester. Jack believes that Wolves will come out on top. Well, the bookmakers have Leicester at around about 5-4, to 13-5 for Wolves to win the three points on Sunday. Looks like it could be a highly entertaining game, James, but you see it going the way of the home side. Yeah, I do. I think Leicester, you know, everyone's talking about them to break that top six dominance this season. And you look at the signings they've made. They've brought in Ayosi Perez. They've got Yuri Tielemans, who spent last season on loan there in the second half of the campaign. He's now there permanently. And also Dennis Prayer coming on transfer deadline day. So there's some good players that have come in through the door. They've had a good pre-season as well. They're unbeaten from their six matches, winning five and drawing one. So they're in form coming into this one. And I expect Leicester to get the points. Wolves, though, will come into this off the back of uh, some competitive action already, Jack, in the Europa League. Yeah, exactly. And I don't think there's any substitute for competitive games. You can play as many pre-season fixtures as you like, but the sharpness that comes to playing competitive football cannot be matched. They've also signed, well, Patrick Crotone is a really good player to have in as a replacement, ten potentially, or just as a sub for Raul Jimenez. I like Jesus Vallejo. I think he'll be a, a big star of the future on loan from Real Madrid. And I think just that extra sharpness will give them the edge at the King Power. Well, I have to say, I'm going to edge towards Wolves just because I do fancy them having been playing competitive games with uh, the Europa League qualifiers. I think they could be hitting the ground running. It may well suffer, they may well suffer later in the season in terms of fatigue, but I'm going to go with Wolves on this first round. Well, in terms of the second round, we're going to have a look at who might be hitting the back of the net in uh, Sunday's game. And just how many goals ultimately there may or be, we shall see. But uh, in terms of who you're looking at here, James, to do the business for Leicester? Yeah, I mean, I've got to go for Leicester to score that first goal. Now, Jack mentioned before that Wolves have already been in action in the Europa League, but that's a long old trip that they've got to make to come back, you know, to the Premier League over to England. So I think fatigue could play an early part, actually, uh, in the start of this game. So I think Leicester probably to find the back on that first. Now, I have watched, actually, Wolves in some of their Europa League games, and it looks shaky at the back with some of the high balls in. So Johnny Evans is around 16-1 to 1 to score the first goal. I think set pieces could be big for Leicester. You're also looking at someone like Jamie Vardy, of course. He's in form uh, six to five years to score any time. Yeah, well, certainly a decent price, I'd suggest, for Jamie Vardy. Any time that he's uh, odds against, you're going to have to look at. In terms of Wolves, what are you thinking here, Jack? Well, it's, oh, there's only one man to look at. Diego Yota's been uh, he's scored once so far in the Europa League games, but he looks so, so sharp. It's also worth mentioning that he scored a hat-trick when these two sides met back in January in a 4-3 victory at Molyneux. He just looks in a man in his time. He looks absolutely fantastic at the moment. 6-1 to one for him to be the first goal scorer. And uh, you mentioned that long flight. I think winning is a, habit, a good habit to be into, and he's playing so, so well. He can see Wolves through. Yeah, Jota and Jimenez will be dangerous, but I'm just going to edge towards Leicester City on this occasion because I do fancy Jamie Vardy in front of his home fans to get a goal and potentially Leicester to take the lead and maybe Wolves to come from behind and come and win this game. Well, in terms of numbers of goals in Sunday's clash, it could, it threatens to be, as Jack mentioned before, James, with that uh, meeting at the Molyneux last time around, this could well be a game with plenty of goals in it. Yeah, it could be. I mean, I look at this one. In 12 goals, Leicester scored in pre-season, so they are finding the back of the net pretty often. The only little worry where I think Wolves could potentially get a goal, actually, is Harry Maguire, obviously, mm. of course, le left Leicester. So that leaves a little bit of a gap in the centre of defence to try and fill there. They've got plenty of options, but I think that could potentially give Wolves a chance to score. But I'm probably looking at someone like... A bet I'll be going for is 10-3 to three on Leicester to win and both teams to score. Uh, Jack Wolves very rarely fail to score in Premier League games, it appears, and they're likely to get on the score sheet, would have thought again. Yeah, absolutely. He's scored four times in the last two games, and I fancy them without Maguire to have a real go at the Foxes' defence. I think there'll be at least four goals in this game, and I actually fancy Wolves to win and both teams to score at 13 to 2. Yeah, I think I'd have to go along with Jack on this occasion. I do think both teams will score, and I do think Wolves will just about sneak it. Let us know your opinions on Sunday's game at the King Power Stadium. Of course, don't forget to uh, join us on our social media pages on Twitter and on Facebook. And uh, also, of course, to subscribe to our YouTube channel.